Hello Zany friends, I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. And we have a book review today for you. Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. This book is one that we were going to be reading before we be booking, but mm -hmm. we decided to read it together so we can give the review together. Do you want to give a, like a brief summary of what this book is about? A guy finds himself in a book that he reads that's a really old book, and that leads him into a library underground that... Oh. We'll stop there. <laughs> After that, it starts to get a little involved. To be perfectly upfront about this, I did not finish this book. I got about maybe six chapters in, and I was listening to it on audiobook, and I just, I couldn't do it. And it kind of sucks because I bought it on Audible in order for us to read it, and now mm. we're, I'm not going to keep it. It really disappointed me because I liked Night Circus a lot, but I read Night Circus on a physical book, whereas this one I did audio. So I kind of felt like maybe if I had read this book physically, I might have liked it better, but I just could not get into the two storylines and how it was told. I am going to agree with her. This book you should read as a physical book. And I don't mean as a Kindle. See if you can get your hands on an actual physical version of this book. Because that is half the point of this book. And there is not just two storylines. There is like five, six, seven different storylines and yet there's only one. This is, this is a, a difficult one to follow for some people, but if you have it in a book format, you might have an easier time going back and checking on some things. I spent most of this book on the edge of putting it down and saying I'm done because I had nothing that really connected me with any of the characters. I loved the concept of it. I liked a lot of how certain things were told. The, the actual style of the writing is good, but I didn't give a rats about these characters, and the universe was so confusing, what could I do with it? So how many stars did you give it? I would probably give it between two and three. I gave it two. Yeah. So that is our review, uh, very quickly, of Starless Sea. If you would like to know more about this, like maybe it seems like something you would be interested in, go ahead and look down below and I have that information for you there as well. But thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.